welcome back to another edition of Senior Spotlights right here on the YouTube page, WUDP. I'm Riley Holsinger today. I'm sitting alongside a good friend of mine, Jacob Knizner, a senior electronic media major from Washington, Pennsylvania. Jacob, what was the main factor in you deciding you wanted to come to Waynesburg University? Ooh, uh, well, I really only had two options when I uh, was looking into colleges. I was either going to go to uh, Penn State Barron, which is up in uh, Erie, Pennsylvania, or to here. And the university's kind of made the decision for me. I uh, was just going to get more scholarship money to uh, attend Waynesburg University. So, uh, you know, Waynesburg kind of said, hey, you're going to go here. And uh, that was kind of how the story went because there wasn't any extravagant uh, decision making process for me to say, yeah, I think I'm going go to go to Waynesburg University. So it just kind of, it chose me kind of deal. <laughs> so, among the organizations you've been a part of here, you're the assistant general manager for the radio station, WCYJFM. We'll touch up on that a little bit later. Also been a part of WCTV and the Waynesburg University Sports Network helping out a little bit. Let's talk about your involvement with those. Uh, WCTV helping out with Nerd Alert. Just tell me about your involvement with that and other shows. Yeah, I really got involved uh, in Nerd Alert uh, on WCTV uh, just last semester mostly because uh, a good friend of mine, Becca, she uh, she's the producer of the show and you know, her and I really started to talk uh, last semester and she was like well I'm gonna create this show so uh, I really think you know you and I could uh, do, do something with it and I said okay so I came and I was a little bit nervous you know I had never been on television before never like actually sat here and done talent and uh, but a lot of my time with radio I feel prepared me because I just was able to sit down and talk about topics that I understood and I knew so you know I felt really good about it because it was just something I could do and then um. I did. I helped with the election night special uh, for Chris Hulse, and uh, that was a great experience. You know, just being behind the scenes. I didn't have to be, come up here and talk, and uh, just helping out. And I did the same thing with uh, Jack Hillgrove with his uh, his practicum project, with doing uh, the uh, trailer production of uh, the Carmichael's football game, and that was that was awesome. You know, I never I had never really been involved with uh, TV or the sports side, so just. You know, helping those guys out really kind of broadened my horizons, I think, and I, I definitely enjoyed helping out with those. Yeah, so you also kind of run a radio show that's like kind of a little bit of a spinoff from Nerd Alert, am I right? Yes, uh, yeah, Becca and I, we do Gamer's Corner, which is more just uh, news and our opinions on games. Kind of follows her uh, structure for Nerd Alert, but uh, that one's a little more free-flowing, I feel. We are able to just kind of talk about anything we want to. We don't focus just on, you know, games. We do movies and uh, some TV shows. So that's just a, that's a little bit of a different, different spin on... Uh, that's kind of where she got the idea for the TV show, so... Yeah, so how different is it exactly for you having to run a radio show where you're just not on camera at all? So, I mean, it doesn't really matter as much what you say, I guess, when you're in the radio station. I mean, it still does, but... And then going to Nerd Alert where you are on camera here. So tell me a little bit of the differences that go from running a show. There are two shows that are very similar, but on two different platforms. Ooh, um, I definitely find TV to be easier. And that's, and that's really weird because I've spent four years downstairs in the radio station. I've spent you know, a ton of time doing it. But for TV, I, I feel like I'm able to come up here and talk about it because usually it's just two people that we really know what, you know, we really know what the topics are and we understand them. And with the radio station, we really have to do, I really have to do a lot of research and just looking into some of the most current events that's going on in the, uh, you know, in the world of uh, gaming and uh, movies and TV shows. So. It's really it, that 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 aspect of the uh, you know setting up the show and doing it does make it a little bit harder. But I, I would definitely say that I enjoy them equally. There's there's not one thing that I would change between either show. So you're more of on the radio track here in the electronic media major. Uh, just tell me, being the assistant general manager of the radio station, how many opportunities does that give you to kind of improve on your craft? Oh, that gives me a, a, a ton of opportunities. I'm one of the main people that when there's a problem, if anything is going wrong with the station, they, they come to me. So I'm able to really sit down and say, well, what's causing this problem? How, how should I fix this or anything? Because I've really, through the assistant general manager position, I've been able to grow my skills and my interest in the engineering side because I do enjoy being on talent and talking on radio, but the, uh, the equipment side and being able to fix things and seeing how everything works, 
that's really uh, really gotten my attention. I really enjoy being able to do that, and it's just really helped me uh, broaden my horizons on being able to help people and just to learn more about you know, the, the true inner workings of a radio station. So if you had to pick in your career at Radio Wise, would you rather be kind of like behind the scenes at working at a radio station, or would you rather be a uh, talent? Ooh, I'm going to have to go with the behind the scenes. I, I did enjoy being talent, and I wouldn't want to give that up, but I've always enjoyed working with my hands and really, you know, being able to be very hands-on with uh, the equipment and everything that I'm doing. So I definitely think that uh, I will keep the uh, behind-the-scenes stuff just because I've always grown up, you know, taking things apart, working with my hands. You know, I'm big into cars and taking them apart and stuff. So I feel that's just one way I can continue that without, you know, it being a hobby. It can be a true career with uh, just working with my hands and being very active in the field of radio. So you also work in a radio station called WJPA. Tell me, how much has that helped you out as a student trying to learn more about radio, um, just trying to find your way into the industry? Ooh, that is a great question. I have learned a ton from my job at JPA. It's one of those things that I was coming to Waynesburg University and uh, my mother, she's a hairdresser, she knew one of the guys that worked at the radio station and was able to uh, you know, get me in and have them, you know, talk to me a little bit and I was able to uh, ask them, I said, hey, is there anything I can do to like get started here? They said, absolutely. So coming in of the summer before my freshman year, which would have been the summer of 2017, I uh, was able to actually start working in radio and get really into the field a little bit before I was able, able to learn anything. And I was actually able to use uh, those guys as a lot of resources and uh, stuff to improve our radio station here. That's um, the streaming service that we just got. Uh, back up and running that uh, we can still improve a little bit on, which we're trying to do uh, through Shoutcast. We, I actually got the recommendation from uh, a couple of my uh, bosses at JPA, so they've actually really been able to help me and improve you know, our station here and to push me forward in being uh, better here in radio. Yeah, that's great that you're applying what you learned there to help us here at WCYJFM. So let's talk about another specialty show that you run at WCYJFM. In the Basement with Jared Weicker. Tell me more about it and tell me just how much fun of a show is it for you to work on. Oh, it, it's, it's a fantastic show. I, I love it. It's uh, my original creation. It's kind of a spinoff of uh, a, an old show that was actually, uh, had, it, it hadn't existed since before my freshman year. It's called Bad Obsessions. It was kind of just rock oriented and uh, it was more, it followed the lines of it can be any type of rock. Well, Jared and I, we've really focused our show into being 60s, 70s, and 80s, all rock music, and uh, it's, it's a fantastic. I love that, I love that show. We, it's kind of my creation. I said, well, I want to I have a specialty show. I'm tired of doing just regular air shifts, and I created it, uh, I want to say it was my sophomore year that I put the show together, and then we've been doing it ever since, and uh, Weicker kind of approached me after uh, one of our interest meetings that you know, were in person before COVID. He said, I actually kind of had the same idea. Would I be able to come up and help you? And I actually didn't know that him at all. So having him come in, I said, yeah, absolutely. Come on and we'll just meet once and see you know, if our interests kind of align. And the show's taken off and we've done it. We have two great uh, little segments during the show. We do covers, which I really like to do. You either get an original cover, you get uh, you know, a song that was more popular than the original, or you get a cover of an original song. And we have a blues break because I just love blues rock and I don't think it gets enough attention. <laughs> yeah, the greatest era of music in my opinion, 60s, 70s, 80s rock. So tell me a little bit more, what, is you, have, what has been your most influential moment here at Waynesburg University? Ooh, I would say the, the moments that really influenced me were uh, my runs to be the general manager I, uh, of CYJ. I, uh, I applied two times, I didn't get it either time, which uh, really, really influenced me in saying, well, you know what, maybe maybe I don't need to be the head. You know, maybe I can find different ways to be involved, and that's when I started to really start getting into the behind the scenes stuff and was able to start fixing and uh, helping improve the station. So those have definitely helped improve me and pushed me to be better than, uh, better than I was before because I definitely feel now if I were to, if I was here for a fifth year and I applied, I would definitely get it. <laughs> Oh, I'd 100% agree with that statement, Jacob. So what personal growth have you seen in yourself, and are, are you happy that you've seen that growth in yourself? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely happy with the growth that I've seen. I, uh, I'm definitely more of a leader than I was my freshman and sophomore year. I was definitely just here and going with the flow and kind of not 
not taking charge. And then I said, you know what? Let me let me let me try. So then I really started taking it, t- stepped up and became started being a leader in the department. And uh, I've really enjoyed that because now I definitely see myself as somebody that people can people come to. Uh, you know, if they have a problem in classes, if they have issues downstairs in the radio station, if they're asking for help in here with uh, CTV, you people come to me and they ask, you know, hey, will you help us out? Can you do that? Uh, Lindsay even did that today. She wanted me to run the camera. So, you know, I said, yes, I can. I can because I, I love helping everybody out. And it's just something, you know, because it's not, it, that's one of the qualities I find that's good in a leader. They're not just there to tell you what to do. They're, they're going to step in and help you out if you're having a problem. So I definitely feel like that's helped me grow. Uh, since my in my four years here so big question here nobody really knows fully the answer to what are your plans after graduation so I feel I've definitely got this narrowed down a little bit uh, considering I've worked four years at a radio station that wasn't uh, university owned so I'm gonna continue to work there with those guys I'm hoping to uh, step up there's uh, some um, older guys there that are I'm hoping are looking to retire there's one guy who He's been there extremely. He's he's been there extremely long time, and I think he's getting ready to say uh, it's time to call it quits. So I'm hoping that I can step up there. But if I can find other radio stations in the area, even uh, I've been looking down in Wheeling, West, at West Virginia, or Morgantown, you know, seeing maybe there's some stations there that I can get into because I just love radio. But if uh, if that's not in the path, I I will I I'm just looking to get into some some form of field with of radio, so I can do production. I can do on air, or I can be behind the scenes and just kind of work with uh, their, the engineers and stuff and uh, improve stations. So I definitely think I'm going to try to stay with radio, though. So dreams take a while to accomplish. What is your biggest dream or goal that you have after graduation? I believe my uh, biggest goal after graduation is just uh, getting out into the field, really uh, honing my craft even far, farther. Uh, I definitely want to be able to be with my girlfriend a lot more. She uh, she goes three hours away uh, to Gannon, so we've been together for almost five and a half years. I definitely think that uh, it would be nice to see her more, than, uh, just because we only see each other every few weekends. So def- that's my biggest goal is just being with her and uh, really improving myself further in radio. So Jacob, what will you miss most about the Department of Communication and Waynesburg University? I definitely think I'm going to miss all the friends I've made. Uh, you. Uh, Chris and Matt, I've really become friends with over the, the last semester, really. Uh, I definitely think Wiker's going to be one that I miss a lot because we've spent so much time uh, getting to know each other and growing through our specialty show. Uh, I've definitely become really good friends with uh, Jack and Lindsay and just everybody in the department. I will definitely miss all of them. I, you know, I lost a lot of my friends last semester, uh, last spring, when they graduated because I feel I was one of those people that kind of gravi- gra- gra- gravitated towards the older uh, seniors in the department. So, uh, but I will definitely miss you know my friends that are, are going to graduate with me and just not being able to be here and part of the the department because I definitely spent a lot of time here and have grown with you guys. Thank you, Jacob. You will be missed. Check out the YouTube page WUDP for more senior spotlights.